Good morning. <laughs> so, I don't know. The way I said that right now reminded me of the... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but in part four, the first episode, there's like a radio host and he's like, morning, 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 radio. And that's what I just thought of right now when I said good morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> good morning. Hi, everyone. It's 8.43 in the morning. I haven't woken up before 11 a.m. in like half a year. Okay, uh, the tweet stating, asking people not to restream this, uh, Nintendo of Japan tweets that every year, um, A, I'm pretty sure, because I, I read the articles that were written and translated, because I don't read Japanese, it's more like, don't just stream the stream reactionary content is still fine as far as i'm aware secondly nintendo of america hasn't said anything like as as far as everyone is aware it's a japan thing and they tweet this out every year every single year nintendo of japan says hey guys don't don't stream our stuff but people do it anyways and there's no issue over here in america i don't know if there's issues in japan but in america there's no issue so i'm gonna stream it Cause I don't give a fuck. Um, if my stream goes down, oh well. <laughs> It'll probably be like my one and only uh, negative strike on my stream account. So I'm like, I'm again, I'm not tripping. It's it's fine for me. <laughs> not fine for me, but it's like, you know, you know. Can I roll my eyes any further back? Like, I'm seeing my brain here. Also, there's like 50 other people streaming this, so like they can't take us all down kind of deal. Listen, okay, I'm turning off this music. I was literally, literally about to say, um, what are you sending me? Yeah, Nintendo tweeted from the official account that co-streaming today's event is not allowed. Um... Differing from years past, while well, Twitch streaming has permission to air the show, will be airing because blah 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 blah. Mirroring the video and audio of the Nintendo Direct to your own distribution? No. Simultaneous viewing without the video and audio of the Nintendo Direct? Okay. A reaction video using the video and audio of the Nintendo Direct is okay. Like, people are seeing the big don't stream it and panicking. You guys have to read it. Like, it literally, like, right under that, people are translating it, and they're saying, like, guys, <laughs> it says mirroring the video and audio of a direct to your own distribution. No, simultaneous viewing without the audio and, without the video and audio of the Nintendo Direct is okay, and a reaction video using the video and audio of the Nintendo Direct is okay. Like, <laughs> Translation, they say you can co-stream, but not only show audio and video, you must react to it. Yeah, like, I'm just, I, I see everybody up in a panic over it, and there are people literally translating it, being like, guys, like, you guys aren't reading it right, or you guys are mistranslating it. It says you guys can react to it, but you have to react to it. If you aren't reacting to it, you can't just stream it. Like, you have to be reacting to it. That's what I'm doing. I'm reacting to it. I gotta... Oh my god! Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing really overblown reactions here. <laughs> Abe, me too. I had three alarms. And I slept through the first two. And by slept through, I mean I just went... Whap. Snooze. <laughs> Didn't even open my eyes. Um, I don't have any expectations. I did have a dream last night about something being reactive, but I don't want to talk about it because I want it to happen. And I feel like if I talk about it, it's not going to happen. 
So I'm not going to mention what it is that I dreamt about being revealed. But I will say that I want to see Elden Ring because we haven't seen anything on Elden Ring in like three years. And at this point, it's like canceled. So if they don't show it here, then it's not happening. Elden Ring will be here at this. <laughs> I'm just fucking joking. Um, I, uh, I. Okay, I'll tell you what I kind of want to see. Not like I'm expecting it, but I would be pleasantly surprised if these things got announced. Someone gave you a spoiler this morning. Okay, well, spoilers. Uh, we already know Monkey Ball is going to be here, which I'm very excited about because I love Monkey Ball. I don't know if it's going to be a uh, re. I don't know if it's a remake or a new game. It it. I I don't know, but uh, I'm happy for Monkey Ball. I'm excited to see that. I don't want to know anything else besides that. I don't care. You woke up ten minutes before your alarm went off. Uh, you read a data man leak. I don't want to hear any of it. I'm banning people who post leaks. The only one I know about is Monkey Ball. It's the only one we're allowed to talk about. But a bunch of content creators yesterday got a uh, care packages from Nintendo for the presentation this year for them to like watch. They all got Letterman jackets, which by the way, I'm really fucking envious about. I want a Letterman jacket Nintendo. I am a content creator. Where is my Letterman jacket? They're Letterman jackets with their names, like, fucking stitched on it. Like, I want I want a Nintendo official Letterman jacket that has a Nintendo logo on the back with my name on it. Like, huh? Besides the jacket, everybody also got a box. And on the box, it says, break, break in case of excitement. Like, I, I, I don't want to get too excited at the idea of nintendo basically being like listen we got hype shit just watch like i don't want to be excited because like what if they don't have anything exciting that would be really disappointed but that's beside the point um i i just um i just hope i don't hope let me tell you okay <laughs> i keep saying i'm gonna tell you guys and then i don't say anything I, um, I will be pleasantly surprised if we see anything on, um, Mother. I'm wearing my Ness hat today in hopes that I'm manifesting. Um, we haven't seen any new Mother content in a really long time. We don't even have the Mother games on, um, the virtual console, the Switch virtual console. So, even if they bring those over, happy. Um, if they... Uh, announce like a trilogy pack happy if they announce mother three is coming happy um this is not stuff i'm expecting i'm not expecting any mother content at all i would just be pleasantly surprised if we get any mother content because like i i want to play the games um, um i would be pleasantly surprised if we got any metroid news it did get uh it did restart development like two years ago, so I'm not expecting anything really. It starts in nine minutes. Um, I'm not ex I'm not expecting Metroid. If anything, I'm expecting them to show up and be like, "Hello, many of you have been waiting for our new Metroid game on Nintendo Switch." Well, I'm happy to say that development has been going smoothly. But we are just not ready to share any information. Please. Stay tuned. Like, that's what I'm expecting. Um, but if they show any Metroid, happy. Um, I'm not expecting it. I would just be pleasantly surprised if we do get any Metroid content. I also apologize if you guys hear a dog barking. I, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about... <laughs> I can't do anything about that. <laughs> the she wakes up... Uh... Knowing Lindsay, she 100% is going to wake up the minute before it starts, roll out of bed. She doesn't turn her PC off. It's constantly on. So she has to roll up off of bed, open up a browser, and then, like, click on the stream. Like, uh, like she can show up really quickly. The way I bodied that. Oh, my God. I just watch a lot of Nintendo Directs. I, I wonder if she uses the same phone alarm I do. That iPhone phone alarm 
needs to be removed because it sucks ass and I don't like it. It makes me sad. Can I turn the music back on? <laughs> it's been like really quiet. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lower it. I'll turn the music off when like it's starting. Um. Ooh, you know what? Uh, no, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna say things because it's notoriously known within the Nintendo community that directs are they show you the unexpected. If you are expecting something, um, you're not gonna see it because they always just go with the unexpected options. So I'm kind of like, I I don't want to expect anything, hoping that it shows up because I'm not expecting. You know what I mean? Like I just, ah, I just want um. I don't want to tell you what I want. I just. Ah. Uh, we have six minutes. I'm so excited. I haven't decided if I'm going to be streaming after the direct. Like, if I'm going to just, like, keep streaming or if I'm going to, like, go back to bed. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to bed and then, like, come back and stream later. Because we do have uh, Dead by Daylight content releasing today. Which, I don't think, like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anybody actually likes it when I stream Dead by Daylight, but I like the game, so I'm gonna continue streaming it, like, sorry about it, <laughs> but, uh, the Resident Evil pack comes out today. I don't know if it's out already. I should actually probably check that. I don't have money to buy it, but, um, I do wanna, like, I do wanna play still. <laughs> I don't wanna play and see new people out there. load hello there's one thing you know I'll like <clears throat> oh the DLC updates out I gotta open steam and update then I'll do that later I don't want to do that now I don't want to stream and try to update something at the same time oh my god I tried playing League of Legends yesterday and the game straight up just crashed on me and would not let me back into the game it dropped me out of can you believe it I I kept loading back into that game and it would just black screen me like close Lee close everything restart it it tries loading up the game, and instead of getting to the loading screen, it just black screens and says, Can't connect to server. I was so irritated. It was so stupid. I was so angry. And then we had, uh, oh, we had bad games yesterday. It's fine, though. You don't play League of Legends for fun. You play League of Legends because you're, eh. You want to have fun, fun, fun with your friends. Oh my god, your second monitor is almost here. I'm excited for you. Did you get an identical one to your first monitor, or did you go with something new? I have two monitors. You guys hang out on my uh, vertical one, and then I have a horizontal one right in front of me. Completely identical. And I love it because it goes horizontal. I want to get a second, or vertical. I want a, a third monitor. <laughs> That's horizontal, so I can have two horizontal ones and then my one vertical one, but I don't have any, like, I have room on my desk, but the problem is I like having, like, my controller stand here and my giant BB-8 and my figures and stuff all in front of me, and if I were to get a third monitor, I would have to, like, remove all of this. Not the same. Things I don't understand. Got it. <laughs> I'm not... Like, I bought this BBA at Disneyland for a hundred dollars. Don't judge my spending. <laughs> Do not. I don't like that. I just felt all of you guys judging me for buying this for a hundred dollars. I'll have you know it is, uh, <laughs> it is a little robo baby. I love him. Look at him. Oh, he looks so good on camera. I love him. 
He is a, uh, like a little RC guy. I'm taking him apart here. I just pulled him open. Oh, you're stuck in there. Shit. Is that dust? What the fuck is that? It is dust. He has a little motor in him. And he can roll around. It is very cute. I have not turned him on in very long time. Oh, I probably should though. It's probably gonna like not work anymore if I don't run him or something. I don't know how this shit works. I love my BB-8 though. He's very cute. Oh my god, it's almost time. Am I not putting this on correctly? I'm not. Where is it? There we go. Hello? I'm so sorry. I'm doing this so close to the mic. That must be so annoying for you guys. I'm sorry. I just... Why isn't this working? <laughs> it's like you opened me. You're never closing me again. Ugh, there we go. His head is magnet magnetized. And that's how he rolls. All right, if Linz doesn't show up right now, she's missing it. <laughs> Lindsay! <laughs> uh, should I text her? No, she's online, she's awake. Hello? All right, I'm turning off the music. It's nine, it's starting. It should be starting any second now. Let me know if it's too quiet, okay? Uh. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm probably not even, it says I am. I was about to say, I did accidentally pause it at one point. So I'm probably a little bit behind. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> you can start. It is 9 a.m. You, you can start. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Please note... Due to COVID-19 release dates and other information presented in the video subject to change. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Guys, Nintendo Direct! Oh my god! I'm reacting. Hello hey. everyone. Hi. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And I know I'll you guys. Guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Yes. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide as well. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year. And They're going to announce the Switch the Pro right here. Nintendo Switch is being enjoyed by a wide range of players. And here's a new way to enjoy it. And all levels of gaming experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you all very much. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system. Mm -hmm. Not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. Mm -hmm. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo I wonder if they're going to start with Smash. Find a game that suits your personal taste. They're going to end with Smash, right? Today we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games yeah. and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. We hope you enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Solar begin, for Smash? Please take a look at this video. There is a Solar Amiibo. Oh, those snaps were late. What happened, team? They're starting with Smash. Oh, okay. Oh, who is it? I'm so curious. I want Monster Hunter. There, I said it. No, it's... No, yeah, this is Smash. Who is that? Shirtless man. Oh, it's a Tekken guy. Yeah, okay. That's cool! Oh my god! Oh, 
so now we have um, Terry SNK, Ryu, Capcom, this guy, Kazuya from Bandai, I think. <laughs> He's just throwing people off the edge. That's actually really funny. Oh, everyone. Huh? Huh? I thought he was just from a fighting game. He's a demon? His, uh, that stage is really cool. I'm, I'm not super hype about that, I'm sorry. I, I'm i happy for people who play Tekken, but I don't play Tekken. No, not Kirby. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah. And you think we should go sleep night, Gale? I, hi. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and the director. I think it'd be cool, but I just don't think it's very likely. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting game series Tekken will join the battle. Surprise! I'll go over the details at a later date, so please sit tight. Mm -hmm. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Please take a look. <laughs> I, I, I understand your argument for Gale being in the game. I just don't think it's happening. <laughs> I'm sorry. This already seems way too complicated for me. I don't want to play Tekken in Smash. If he doesn't have just four moves, then it's already too much. Sir... I also do not like that we're spending time looking at all these moves. Like that's what the that's what the Sakurai presentation is for. This feels Hi like Jordan. Tekken. Good morning. No, it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation. We still have to record it first, actually. The air date is shown below. Please stay tuned. That's the release date as well. We all know that the presentations happen on the release date. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Or at least like a few days before it, so. New fighter Kazuya will join the fight in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Our first batch. Show me something. Your choices matter in these Really? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Is it is it? Is this what I think it is? I don't think so. I don't wait, I don't think so. It is. Wow. We're getting Life is Strange on Switch. That's actually really cool. I haven't played any of them, but I've heard they're phenomenal. Is it all of them? Are we getting the collection? Wow, we are. We're getting all of them. That's really cool. When? <laughs> I'm actually interested in playing this one. The True Colors one. The only reason why is because MXM Toon is does the singing for that character, and I like MXM Toon, so I wanna. This is I wanna play this one. Life is strange. True September colors 10th. launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. Cool. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. 
There's something for everyone on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch system. Wow, there's room for everyone. Let's just you say that. This is coming to Switch 2? Shut the fuck up. For hire in this thrilling action adventure game. Jump on a wild ride across the cosmos. Overwhelm opponents with Star Lord's daring combat style. And at the end of the presentation, at the very end of the presentation, they're going to be like, by the way, all the games you saw here are uh, enhanced by the Nintendo Switch Pro. Here it is. <laughs> Onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. I don't think it looks very fun either. I think it looks Worms like everywhere. cool. In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 30 The MCU players is really good. Um, and I heard that the Avengers game Square did is really like not good. So I'm very hesitant on the Guardians game. Bear outfit exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A cool. new map, Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble. This does not look Nintendo very Switch good. It does not look like it's running very well. Order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. The fantastical realm of Or Cannon awaits. Or Cannon. Explore this fully hand painted world. You'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks in captivating turn based combat. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Return to Two Point the Campus. Charming and quirky world of we Two saw Point this County. the other day. In the wholesome management sim Two Point Campus, you'll build and run your very own university the way you want it. Lots of creative tools are at your disposal to make the school yours and take your educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. Fun. <laughs> A beloved series rolls into its Monkey Ball. I'm actually, year. I'm really excited for Monkey Ball, guys. I don't know if anybody, I don't know if I've ever said this aloud, but I love Monkey Ball. I probably have said this aloud, but I used to play the Monkey Ball Kid, the uh, Monkey Ball Kids, Monkey Ball games as a kid on the GameCube. Go! Super Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball 2. Is it a collection? I thought it was one game. No, no, okay, it's just going through all the games. Banana Mania. It is the first three games. Just like remastered. Dude, that's super sick, actually. I will be playing <laughs> this game. <laughs> I will be playing this game. Go bananas when Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania rolls onto Nintendo Switch October 5th. I will. It's a blast from parties past, and you're invited. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? More Mario Party? It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Live it's a new Mario Party game boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's birthday cake and Space Land. Oh my god. Each oh my god. Zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. I just bought Super Mario Party, you Jump. bitch. <laughs> Connect blocks and give facelifts in hilarious over the top mini games, all of which support button controls. Oh, thank God. 100 mini games from the Mario Party series catalog. You'll have a blast in this All Star Fun Fest. Oh There's my God! I want All this so bad. With online play. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a board game online with friends, save your progress mid game, grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to partay in Mario Party. That comes out this year. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system. Fuck off when you game after it's been thing. begin today. I literally bought this game like three months ago. Fuck. I yes, I am so happy that's what I wanted, but fuck. I'd like to say one thing. Yes. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4, which we previously announced. But today. We'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Yes, please. please. Ooh, ugh, show me. Eight 
It, is this Metroid Fusion? No, this is Metroid 5. <gasps> oh. F my. Oh, she looks so weird, but I like it actually. She said, you know what, this ain't working. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? <gasps> it's dread! I can't fucking believe it. They brought back... It's by Mercury Stream. Oh, guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe it. They're gonna play it on the treehouse? We're watching that. I'm watching that. This year! Ah! October 8th! There's so many October games! With the trailer for the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years. Uh huh. The brand new Metroid Dread game. I can't believe Metroid Dread came back. Dread implies this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that same day, we'll also <gasps> be releasing amiibo figures for Samus no! and the Emmy, the robot seen in the video. Let's move on to more Nintendo I Switch own headlines. all the Metroid Amiibos. If they release more, that means I have to buy them. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. Uh-huh. Mother. No, it's not. <laughs> Guys. Oh, we got it. After Metroid Fusion came out, Metroid Dread was announced to be in development. There were articles written about it in Nintendo magazines. Like, you could go look up Metroid Dread, and you'll find stuff from, like, years back. We all knew Metroid Dread was a thing, and we all knew that it was coming eventually, and then it just, like, slowly, silently got, like, cancelled. So to see Metroid Dread back is the most exciting thing to happen to me in a really long time. I can't believe Metroid Dread came back. Blast your way through nearly 30 over the top tracks. What is this? What are we watching? Cruising Blast launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this fall. Fun! It's the ultimate Dragon Ball Z experience. We live the story of Goku and other Z fighters through four sagas in this action RPG. Mm hmm. Saiyan, protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. Cell, battle the androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu, an epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. Along with the main story, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Why not help out the locals or collect ingredients for delicious meals? You could always train to acquire new skills, too. There are lots of things to keep you busy. The boss battle episodes, A New Power Awakens, parts one and two, is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus A New Power Awakens set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September 24th. Mm -hmm. Grab a golf club and get ready to tee off. 
so Metroid, guys, um, that's that was a really fun excitement. We're getting a new Mario Party game that's literally just like Mario 64, which I'm, God, I'm so excited about that fucking game. Super Mario Party is fine, but it is such, like, it was just, it, I don't know, I guess now that I own it, and having spent the money on it, I see the issues, whereas before I was like, oh, it's Mario Party, it's just like a little bit less, like it's fine guys, but now that I own it and see what else is coming, and I'm like, yeah, I, I see the problems in it now. Battle Golf. I don't like any of the Mario sports games. I don't think I've played any of them that I've enjoyed. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. Oh, there was one with Final Fantasy characters on the DS. I think I liked that one, but I didn't own it. And here's some news. Free updates are planned for future release, including additional courses and playable characters. The fairway's almost open, so set your tee time and get ready to ace those shots in Mario Golf Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, that's this month. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Ready for the ride of a lifetime? No, I do not care about this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the vast and vibrant world of Monster Hunter. As a rider in this RPG adventure, you'll explore diverse landscapes by riding your monster, a monster companion. I feel like if I gave this series a shot, I would enjoy it, but right now I'm just like, I don't care. I'm sorry. But beware of the many monsters roaming about. Some are docile, but others may suddenly ambush you. Ah, uh, I wish the guy Chris came to rise. Team up with your monster and use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters in turn-based battles. Win, I believe and you'll be in the Monster Hunter update, we'll get it. Which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new Monsty. Incredibly Monsty? powerful Monsties can also hatch from rare eggs. Oh, I don't like that we saw Gamut's eyes. Buddies? That's weird. Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going to be a real monster of an adventure. I'm sure. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, Source. I want you to be Nintendo out already so I don't have to hear about you anymore. <laughs> I'm so... You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry over your save data to the full game. Okay, thanks. Here's a new WarioWare. The head of a certain company. It's either WarioWare. Hey, it's WarioWare. Did you miss me? Hey, what do you mean? Who am I? It's -a -me. This was kind of a, not leaked, but Nintendo sent out the survey asking people about WarioWare, so we figured that we were going to get a new game. You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. What rats. Check out these chumps. They came back and they have wonderful new talents. Throw that stick thing. Hmm. hmm. The bad. Use the spinny what you might call it. Ha! Interesting. It. Same micro. <laughs> this is so poggers. I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same time. So play nice or else. <laughs> yep, uh, it looks good. I like WarioWare. Nice. All right, you. Yes, you. The one watching this. Better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> the WarioWare Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Nice. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare. Get it together. In the latest I mean, that's pretty soon. Series, I'm not like a. I'm pretty happy about it. You I mean, having game. games release really close There's together sucks because I have to like prioritize what I really want. But the gameplay. it's releasing in the near future. So I'm excited. Tuned. Metroid. Next. Mario Please Party. WarioWare. They're not showing any Metroid Prime Four, are they? <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei 5, we knew we were going to see this. I'm actually interested. I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game, but I like the idea of them. I want to play one. 
This might be the one that gets me into the series. Like, I might try this one and probably like it. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. Another Tokyo exists, a post-apocalyptic world where angels uh, and uh -huh. demons reside. Suddenly, you fuse with the mysterious Oh, he's figure. way too handsome. <laughs> what lies Sir? ahead in this alternate realm? Ma'am? transformed into a sprawling demon infested wasteland though friendly demons oh he's naruto running many are hostile and will attempt to destroy you harness your newfound powers to fight demons using a command based system finding their weak point is key by targeting it the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase ah cat said we loved it formidable opponents <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations which begin when you open a conversation with are these literally just the same enemies from the persona series i recognize a lot of these i knew that they were like the same company i didn't realize that they were like the same become a powerful world in some cases by rejecting a demon's request they may feel motivated and join you as an ally demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger hmm. by fusing demon allies another demon can be created you show the demon with the strap on nintendo don't be shy the newly fused demons innate abilities will vary granting you a powerful uh, ally he's so cute to your needs and play style. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. Mm -hmm. What destiny will you choose? November 12th. Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Pre-orders for the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. Mm -hmm. This is the newest game in the series. Please look yeah. forward to future updates. I figured. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> in despair. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Three games in the deadly Dock and Rampa series are yes. Nintendo Switch. Please. Oh my god. Monokuma, the self proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to be Oh, those backgrounds are not looking too good. <laughs> and so it begins. Body has been discovered. I can't. Demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Johnny, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions and find the guilty party. Sneak attack. I'm so excited. Are you okay? Hello? Hello? The board game from Donkin Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. There's a board game? Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp. An all-star cast of characters from the Donkin Rampa series will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this hey. ultimate beach brawl? The four game collection Duncan Rampa Decadence launches as a physical no exclusive release on Nintendo Switch physical? this year. I can buy it physically? All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. 
Oh my god, Nintendo, you did it. I can't believe it. You're not afraid of ghosts. They're just dropping release after release that I won. I didn't play this on the Wii U because it released really late in its life cycle and I figured I'd just buy it on Switch. And here it is. Horror adventure game. You'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the Thank you, Mr. Nintendo. Kami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. I will. This spine-chilling story features various protagonists, letting you experience the game from different perspectives. I did hear that this Fatal Frame game is not as scary as the earlier ones, but uh, I never played it, so I probably don't know. Fatal Frame. Maiden of Black okay, they're just not giving us release dates for these. Switch That's fine. Year. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even today. Oh? Your war is not over. Raise hell I never in the first played Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods Part 1. I have it on my PC because of Game Pass, more challenging combat awaits. so I should probably play that before my Game Pass expires. In demon-infested ruins and rain-swept terrain, the fate of the cosmos is in your hands. I just haven't been really into like the idea of playing a launches a Nintendo Switch later today. First-person shooter. Get ramped up for two iconic skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes. And compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop in to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. 2016 Doom, really fucking good. Nintendo Absolutely shop. loved it. Doom Eternal, I just haven't touched. After 4,000 years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead. <laughs> Sateki. <laughs> and only one group of heroes can stop her. The Strange Brigade. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles in booby-trapped dungeons. You gotta shoot Go the puzzles, that's really funny. With other daring adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. Expect the unexpected. When Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Cool. It's a new adventure of cosmic. Really unfortunate that this game leaked before the presentation Mario of uh, and his Ubisoft. With the rabbits once again to restore order to the galaxy. I think this one looks good. I didn't play the first one, but I think this one looks good. Evil from plunging the universe into chaos. If they show it, I'll explain why I think this one looks better than the first. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait. Is she bored already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. So in the battle mode, in this fresh take, your movement, you're genre. free. You can move freely. Our see, can run freely around the battlefield. I think that's what makes this like way more interesting for me. So aim for victory. It's free movement on the battlefield. Wait, who's that? Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus rabbits, sparks of the hope. first game goes on sale all the time. I should honestly just pick Nintendo it up. Switch next year. Fuck those rabbits. No, they're cute. The Orange Star Nation is under attack. Oh! Wow! Good for them. I didn't play Advanced Wars, but I know uh people who are diehard fans of these games so I'm that's this is really cool I'm happy for those people again I'm not like really into or very good at tactical games so for me this is kind of like a cool uh, announcement but it's just eh. Sorry, I literally just have Monokuma repeating in my head. A body has been discovered. <laughs> Japanese Monokuma. Play the first two Advance Wars campaigns in Advance Wars One Plus Two Reboot Camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Cool.
How is everything? All right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Please take a look. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. You're ending it on the expansion pass, really? <laughs> I forgot this game was a thing. Oh, that's in like three days. Which engaging character is this? Oh. Konnichiwa. Hello there. Hello. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Mm. What you've mm. just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. Mm -hmm. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope mm. you'll look mm. forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. Yes. We'll begin with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Excited. You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two joy I really like Skyward Sword. I really do. Or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button only controls. This game depicts the oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series, the story of how it all began. I think Skyward Sword has the best what story the of the in a Zelda sword? game. The gameplay is Why a little weird, but the, the story the is really good. For future generations. These will all be unraveled in this game. This, they're showing a lot of spoilers. <laughs> I mean, it's an old ass game, but still, guys, some people haven't played this game yet. Next up, here's a little something you might like. This mm, is a game and no. system that lets you play three <laughs> games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. Uh -huh. We don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned. We've been working on this Game & Watch system. As Not a them just item to casually the dropping that they have no games planned the for the anniversary. Of the Legend of Zelda. I don't know if you forgot Nintendo, but it's also Metroid's 35th anniversary. The Legend of Zelda. I know we're getting Metroid Dread, Zelda but... 2, the Adventure of Link. Oh, wow! The Boy version of the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening game as well as a special version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick-up-and-play game Vermin. I'd pay $20 for this. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game & Watch system, we've added a playable clock based on the Legend of Zelda, and an interactive timer themed after Zelda II The Adventure of Link. You can play with both of them by taking control of Link. We hope you'll enjoy playing this Game & Watch system. It's cute, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm not going to buy that. All right, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, my God. Two years have passed since we first announced this game, mm -hmm. and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. Mm -hmm. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. So we're Please definitely, we definitely do not have a release date. It's definitely not coming out this year, but they do want to share something with us. I appreciate it. <gasps> Oop. Okay, Spooky Yuki, come through. Huh? <laughs> Is that Zelda? The 
this is Genshin Impact. Huh? <laughs> I can't wait for people to replay this audio backwards. Yeah, we we all knew. That's fine though. Take your time. It looks good so far. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Thank you. No Animal Crossing update. That's all for this Nintendo Direct. We are diligently continuing I forgot Animal Crossing was a thing. Other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> okay. Um well. Uh Oh my god, these Metroid Amiibos look so good. Hi everyone. I'm Hi Mr. Bowser. Bowser from Nintendo of America. And I'm here with Nate Bildorf, who leads our treehouse team. As you there, know, there was a Nintendo, joke. We're all about creating there was a joke earlier this week where somebody's like, this year Nintendo's one more announcement is going to be all like, one more announcement. There is no announcement. Good night. Like, it's fine. I don't mind. Are they going to start showing Metroid right now? If they are, then I'm going to stay. If they're not, then I'm going to leave. I'm just waiting for them to see what they say. Yeah, that's far in advance. Don't talk about that. We don't care about Metroid right now. Or no, we don't care about Zelda. We care about Metroid. <laughs> what were the announcements? So much shit just happened, like, back to back. I... Okay. Uh, Mario Party. Hype. I'm so excited for Mario Party. That looks so good. I cannot wait. Um... What came after Mario Party? Danganronpa? Danganronpa. Excitement. I can't... I, I've i literally... Literally since the Switch came out, ask any of my friends, I've been saying, I want Danganronpa to come to Switch. I'm going to buy it and I want to replay it on my Switch. Like, Danganronpa... That's a, one reason why I haven't replayed the games yet is because I wanted to play them on my Switch and now we can do it. We're getting a full physical release, which I am so excited about. I just... I'm fingers crossed that they don't do the... Oh, one game's on the cart, download the rest of them, because if they do that, I'm going to be very sad. I'm excited for Danganronpa. After Danganronpa, we had uh, Fatal Frame. Uh, again, I didn't play it on the Wii U. I'm excited to play it on the Switch. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, I do pick it up and I don't just pass on it. Just getting started. Um, next up, we, have, of course, have Nintendo Treehouse Live, and we'll be kicking off our first segment with a very special guest. Yoshio Sakamoto, who is the producer of Metroid Dread. Okay. And he's going to be sharing his insights on... I want to see Metroid Dread. I'm saying this, but the first 2D, new 2D Metroid game in nearly two decades. Uh, I'm not going to miss it, and I know you've been looking forward to it as well. Absolutely. I am looking so forward to it. Please, show me some more Metroid Dread. Sad that there was no Bayonetta. Um, deep dive into Metroid Dread, WarioWare, let's get it together, and more games in a mix of both live sad. and pre-recorded segments today. And I just like to say as we close, um, deeply grateful. We are oh, okay. This presentation today. compared to. Um, <laughs> oh, this <laughs> fucking Abe, you're so fucking hilarious. Nintendo really shitted on them hoes. Yes, they did. I can't believe it. This was so good. Nintendo really said, oh, y'all don't have announcements don't worry we got announcements and they showed everything i'm so excited Ugh. it is a little weird to see um oh are they gonna touch on the development history of the game hold on i want to hear this 
I want them to go way back. メトロイドシリーズはサムスアランという女性バウンティーハンターの活躍を描いたゲームです。タイトルメトロイドっていうのは生物兵器として軍事利用できる富裕生命体の名前でいろんなトラブルのきっかけになってきました。シリーズではそ
パワーアップアビリティを取得するとサムスのアクションがどんどん増えるそれらのアクションでサムスの行動範囲が広がっていくという仕組みですこれまでになかったパワーアップアビリティも当然追加していますスパイダーマグネットの壁や天井に捕まっているので、oh! スパイダーマグネットなどはその一例です They actually had something very similar to that、uh, on Metroid Fusion. Not a power, but you could climb on walls and you could like hang from the ceiling in Metroid Fusion. I'm glad that they brought that back. It's sad that it's an upgrade and not just something she can do, but still. I would like to see. I would like to see the baby. <laughs> Something about just all of them just sitting there like. Welcome to Nintendo Tree. It really did it for me. It was good. I'm excited about this next segment where we're going to delve into an early work in progress version of Metroid Dread.、Um, I'm going to watch this on my own, though. I will be back later for Dead by Daylight.、Um, I'm glad you guys all hung out with me and you saw my excitement. I definitely was so excited <laughs> to see Metroid, to see Danganronpa, to see Fatal Frame. This was a good presentation in my book. I think Nintendo did very much save E3. Uh, these are all very, like, games that I personally, you know, I'm really into. So I, I figured I was, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm tired. I'm going to go eat something. I'm probably going to take a nap, but I'll be back later. We'll play Danganronpa, and I hope to see you guys. But with that,、um, good night. Or good morning. Oh my God, it's not night. <laughs> so have a good day. Bye, everyone.